Oh my goodness, can I just say I'm such a fan of everything you've got going on? <laughs> you certainly can. Do you want an autograph or something? You're so funny. I don't get autographs. Do you want one? <laughs> I'm good, but how can I help you? I just see everything you're doing. In the ring, you're winning. You're awesome. Outside of the ring, movies, web shows, and that adorable captive audience thing. By the way, I totally got how the title was playing off your nickname. I don't think most people did, but I got it. Anyway, the one thing I think is missing from the whole Cap Charismatic universe is me. No offense, but I'm not really looking for a tag partner right now. Hmm. But are you looking for an assistant? You do have a lot going on, and I'd be great at it. I can get you in and take you to all the best spots, snap pics with you on social media, go shopping with you. I mean, that's my specialty. Wow, that's a lot. But I do have a match in Japan coming up, and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed juggling it all. But it's more work work than what you described. I'd be looking for someone who could help arrange travel, maybe do a little research on some guests for captive audience, answer some basic publicity requests and emails, that sort of stuff. Probably not your thing. Are you kidding me? I love buying plane tickets and digging up dirt on your guests. Sign me up. Plus, I'm on my phone all the time. Could this be more perfect? It would be great to have some help. I've got a match against Dakota Kai, and with all this on my plate, I've barely had time to get to the gym. Maybe it's worth a try. Yes, tell me what I can do. I'll give you a list and see what you can tackle. Oh, and I'm sorry, but I do have some ring gear at the dry cleaners and it'd be great if you could grab that. So cliche, I love it. Send me everything, not a problem. And you get yourself to the gym, boss. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Lexington via Kentucky, Death Demon! Why are you putting on sunglasses, Saxton? Because the brightest superstar in WWE is on her way to the ring. Come on, Corey. Aren't you at least a little starstruck? I can feel the ratings spiking. An absolutely cutthroat competitor. Here comes Dakota Kai, looking ready to assert her control. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. So Dakota may not be really trustworthy, but she is an amazing in-ring competitor. Who needs trust when you can kick everyone's face off? Well, I may have reservations on her personality, but I agree that Kai is a very dangerous competitor. Well, if Kai fails the Byron Saxton personality test, I'd say she's doing great.
There's the bell, and this one's official. Dakota Kai's in the building, and she's ready to take her opponent out. It's no secret that Dakota Kai is a cold-blooded assassin. Dakota studies every move her opponent makes and then strikes. Dakota hesitates to call her shot, and once she detects a weakness, she's merciless in exploiting it. Yeah, but she's got to face off against one of the most destructive competitors we've ever seen in the women's division. On an absolute warpath since she came to WWE, she is unlike anything we've seen before. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Kai's bordering on a loss. We could. Uh oh. Batten down the hatches. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Oh, She's man. feeling the hurt here. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Sorry. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Kai's having trouble getting her bearings. Moonsault. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. She looks hell-bent on finishing things right now. Dakota doing what she can to halter the beatdown. Yeah, she's able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will she also gain command of this match? Cinched in, Snapmare Driver! Is it enough? The cover! Two! And this one is over. Here is your winner, Death Demon! A big L suffered by Dakota Kai. Let's just remember that Dakota Kai has come back from worse setbacks than this. This isn't the end of the road for her. Have such a great time in Japan. I'm feeling so good about this trip for you. Thanks. I have to admit, it was nice to fully focus on training. I feel better facing Dakota Kai than I have in a while. And I can't remember the last time I got to the airport this relaxed. Do you have my flight info? So glad to be of service. Flight info, fun wrinkle. Apparently, it's a whole different day in Japan right now. Who knew? Anyways. Time zones are really confusing, and your flight's not for another eight hours. But no worries. You're here now, and we have a car there to take you straight from the airport to the Japan Dome for your match. I don't even get to check into my hotel first? That's a long flight, Chelsea. There won't be any time for that. It's already tomorrow there. Crazy, right? Anyway, good news is I got you into the absolute best sushi restaurant in Tokyo after your match. You're welcome. I'm sure it'll be great, assuming I'm not too tired and can still eat solid foods. You're in luck. They have amazing soups. You'll love it. And since you'll be gone for a bit, I should totally have time to grab that dry cleaning before you get back. Thanks. And please do.
Cat, the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is a five-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, Death Demon. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. Cap is ready for her close-up. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And her opponents, first from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. Get ready to see the toughness of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. Always imaginative and always impressive. Indy Hartwell has already had reigns with the NXT Tag Titles and the NXT Women's Championship. Truly battle-tested, she's ready to continue that success on the main roster. Would you say, Cole, that she's impressive? Behold the modern day witch. Uh, Aladon gives me the creeps. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Aya Dawn! The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. We'll see if Isla Dawn's spells and spirits can get the job done tonight. Whoa, you better be careful, Corey. She might just put a curse on you.
JC Jane, a superstar with a rock star attitude. And from Tampa, Florida, JC Jane. Jane is the multiple time NXT Women's Tag Champion, co holder of the longest reign in that title's history. And we are only seeing the start of JC Jane's dominance. Jane brings a certain fire to the ring every time she competes. And she has attitude to spare, ready to make her next big statement tonight. We've got some unexpected chaos as four women all showed up scheduled to face Cat, who is expecting a singles match. Well, nice of WWE to change this to a battle royal, so no one has to go home disappointed. That still doesn't explain why Cap's in street clothes. Something's clearly off with her, and she better hope it doesn't carry over into the ring. What a barrage of stops. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Oh, super kick! Oh, targeting the stomach. sustaining that attack up. It's all over. Cora Jane Here comes up big with the W. Cora Jane! Big loss for Cap tonight. I think this one took her by surprise. Cap had really been building some momentum with the WWE Universe, but this could stop it cold. This sort of win shakes up the women's... So glad you're here. We never discussed my benefits package. PTO, 401k... Yeah. We'll get right on that. After we discuss how you and Tiffany totally screwed up and never canceled a single one of my opponents. You expected us to do that? I think Tiffany pretty clearly said you can cancel the one you don't need. Are you serious? You and your assistant, which is crazy by the way, but whatever, are supposed to be making my life easier, not making me look incompetent. I didn't even have my gear. It was still at the dry cleaners. Do you hear yourself right now? I really don't like this energy. You're coming in with a lot of attitude and totally talking to me like a subordinate. What's that about? You are a subordinate. Okay, that's it. These working conditions are unacceptable. My assistant and I are on strike. <laughs> oh, I'll strike you. That's what's gonna happen. Threatening striking workers with violence? Pretty sure that's legally protected, and beside that, not cool. But I don't think we have any other recourse than to teach you a lesson in the ring. I'd tell you to name the time and place, but I'm fairly sure you'd find a way to screw that up. So how about we just say raw next week? I'll check with Tiffany to make sure that works for my schedule, but fine.
the team of Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Talk about surprises, it's Cap with Stacy Keebler. And their opponents, Death Demon and Stacy Keebler. Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton tried to take advantage of Cap, and she wasn't having it. Now they're gonna deal with a WWE Hall of Famer. Who hasn't competed in ages? Respect to Stacy, but this is a whole different ballgame. Will Cap recruiting Keebler pay off, or will ring rust be an issue here tonight? These two former assistants used to roll calls, and now they're trying to roll their ex-boss. I'd expect executive-level chaos. But Cap's relied on her Hollywood connections to recruit WWE Hall of Famer Stacey Keebler to join her enterprise. That's quite the merger. Well, let's see if there are more HR complaints or ER visits before this one's over. High crossbody! Ferocious attack against Tiffany here. Now we have to see how tough Tiffany truly can be. With the reversal! She isn't taking this lying down anymore. The U-turn Chelsea needed in this match could have been that right there. Oh my god, the moonsault! She is rapidly dictating the pace. And she still might have more coming. Escape just in time. Knees meet face. Spear! That was vicious. That could end Chelsea's night. Oh! She's got it. Got her shoulders down. That'll be a win. What a hard-fought victory. Team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. These two looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division.